Hey there guys, in my last video we went about the packaging of a Python application into a static web application ready for deployment. So we created just the files for the web deployment but we did not deploy the application itself. That's what we are going to do in today's video. We are going to be deploying the web application we created on a free web hosting provider known as Cloud Web Pages. Enough talking, let's quickly dive deeper into all this. So from your web browser, search for Cloud Web Pages and depending on your search results, I think the first link is going to be the best. So just look for the one containing pages.cloudfair.com, click on it. And over here on the Cloud Web Pages website, you're going to click on login if you already have an account or on sign up if you don't yet have an account. So I already have an account, so I'm going to click on login. And on the login page, I'm going to enter my credentials. So it's loading my dashboard. And for my dashboard, you can see I've already deployed quite a lot of websites with Cloud Web Pages, about 15 of them. So when you land on your dashboard, the first thing to do is to create an application, also known as a project. And from here, you're going to see it's on the Workers tab. You're going to move to the Pages tab by clicking on it. From here, you need to provide Cloud Web Pages with your web files. The first way is to specify an existing Git repository containing your web files. For that, you need to provide Cloud Web Pages with read access to your GitLab or GitHub account. The second way is through the direct upload of your web files. This is the simplest of both and the one we are going to cover in this video. So I'm going to click on Upload Assets. And from here, it says deploy a site by uploading your project. So you are going to upload your project files. The first thing to do is to give your project a name. I'm going to name it Simple Ethical Counter. And from below it says your project will be deployed to simpleethicalcounter.pages.dev. So please take your time when giving your project a name because the name you give will be part of your URL. Click on Create Project. I am now required to upload my project asset files. So you can either drag and drop your files on this surface and they will be uploaded directly or you can click on select from computer and either upload a zip or a folder. I'm going to click on folder in my case and for my web directory, so for my simple counter, build and then web, you can see these are my web files. I'm simply going to click on upload because I'm already in the right folder. So I'm going to upload the whole of this folder with all of its contents. An alert message pops up to confirm I really want to upload my files to this site. So I click on upload because I really want to do that and all the files are being uploaded. The upload of the files might take some time depending on your internet connection and bandwidth. So please just be patient with it and later on you will successfully upload. Now you just have to click on deploy site and it is success. Your site was built and deployed to simpleethicalcounter.pages.dev. I'm going to open it in a new tab and from here you can see this is the application loading on the custom domain on the custom website we just created and of course it works just as we expected after a successful deployment of your web application you can share this link to anyone and the person will be able to view your website you can click on continue to project so as you can see from this message over here there are several other little things you can do you can set up a custom domain so if you don't want your users to access your website through the pages.dev domain, you can set up a custom one and you can also enable web analytics. Let me click on that. Gain visibility into your project's site traffic. See the visits, the page views, the requests, status codes, etc. on your website. So you can click on enable web analytics and it says web analytics is now enabled. The changes will take effect on the next deployment. You can click on view web analytics. And from this dashboard, you can see all the analytics related to your published website. So I'm going to move back to the project. And I just want to show you that you can create a new deployment with this button over here. When you click on it, you are asked to select your deployment environment, either production or preview. So production refers to what your users are going to see when they open your website. So when my user moves to simpleethicalcounter.pages.dev he sees all what is on the production branch so the latest production deployment and the second option is the preview deployment environment which is simply for testing purposes so as usual you simply drag and drop your files or you select from your computer and then you save and deploy so guys that's actually all i wanted to show you in this video feel free to move to the website we just created and let me have your impressions if you have any questions or faced any issues while trying to implement all what I mentioned in today's video, simply drop a comment and I will respond to you as soon as possible. If you found the content of today's video 
interesting and useful, please consider pressing the like button and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.